Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on orthographic projection by the first angle projection method. So if we observe the given diagram, here are two sides that is the right hand side and left hand side. So what is the length on the right hand side that is 50 millimeter and on the length left hand side the length is 55 millimeter. So we have to choose the front view for the maximum length. So if we observe on the left hand side there is the maximum length that is 55 millimeter. So we will take the left hand side as a front view. So if we observe the dimensions that is uh, 50 millimeter or 55 millimeter or the height is 35 millimeter are very less. So we will use the scale 1 is to 3 that is 1 millimeter in the given object which is equal to 3 millimeter in this orthographic projection. Now let us first decide what is the length, height and width for this given object. So length we have taken here as a 55 millimeter. So our dimension is 1 is to 3 so instead of 55 millimeter in this projection we will use length 55 into 3 that is 165 millimeter then height is 35 millimeter that is this 25 plus 10 that is 35 millimeter height so we will use here 105 millimeter then what is the width so width, width is on the right hand side we will use as a side view so there is width is 50 millimeter so we will use 50 into 3 that is 150 millimeter as a width so how to plot this orthographic projection so in first angle projection method front view is considered as the principal view so we will consider it on the right hand side because this front view in the given object is on the left hand side so we will start this uh, orthographic projection by drawing the horizontal line that is the x axis and this vertical line that is the y axis so there should be some space in between front view top view and side view so we have to keep some distance in both the sides of this x axis and on this y axis so above and below we will take the particular distance so suppose we can take here as a 1 centimeter or 2 centimeter so we have to take suppose we take here as a 1 centimeter on both sides of x axis and y axis we have to draw the parallel lines to x axis and y axis passing through that point so there should be some distance so this space we have to keep because for some distance in between front view, top view and side view. Now in the given object we are going to consider front view is on the left hand side. So we have to plot the front view in this orthographic projection is on the right hand side. So here is the right hand side in this orthographic projection. So when we draw x axis and y axis there are four quadrant. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So because of y axis this part for the first and fourth quadrant is on the right hand side and this part for second and third quadrant is on the left hand side. So now we are going to plot the front view is on the right hand side that is in this first quadrant. So we know that the top view is getting vertically aligned with the front view. So for this front view we have to keep this vertical projections in this downward direction and we have to take the top view here. Now what about the side view? So in first angle projection method side view is getting horizontally aligned with the front view. So beside this front view we have to take the horizontal projection and we have to take the side view in this quadrant. So here is the location that is getting decided. So here will be the front view then here will be the top view and here is the side view. Now when we observe this object from the front so what we can clearly see we can clearly see what is the total length and what is the total height so here length we have to take 55 millimeter that means 55 into 3 165 millimeter so we have to take this horizontal line that is 165 millimeter height we have to take 35 millimeter that is 35 into 3 that is 105 millimeter so we have to take here 105 millimeter now in the same way we will move for the top so this top view is getting vertically aligned with the front view so we will make the projection of this line that is the this outline of this front view to the top view so here 
the length is getting aligned so this length for the front view and the length for the top view will be same now when we observe this object from the top what we can clearly see we can clearly see what is the total length and what is the total width so what is the width here so, so width is 50 millimeter that means we have to take 50 into 3 150 millimeter so here we have to take this vertical distance as a 150 millimeter and we have to complete this block so these are the outlines this is the outline of the front view this is the outline of the top view now we will move for the side view so this side view is getting horizontally aligned with the front view so we have to take the horizontal projections so this horizontal projections can be done from the front view to side view so we can take the vertical projections also from this top view so how to take so for that we have to take or we have to draw a one line at 45 degree angle so we have to draw here one line that will be at 45 degree and then we have to draw the line that is horizontal projection from the top view up to this line that is inclined line and at this point of intersection we have to draw the vertical line so here the vertical projection from this top view and horizontal projection from the front view meet at this point so this is this will be the outline of this side view so we can say this outline is getting completed so in this way this outline is getting completed now we will move for the front view so when we observe this object from the front then what we can clearly see we can clearly see what is the base construction so base construction is having height 10 millimeter and length that is 55 millimeter so we have to take here height distance so this is the height so we will take the distance 10 millimeter that is 10 into 3 that is 30 millimeter on both these sides and we will complete this base construction so these are the construction lines that we have to draw with the dark pencil so for the construction line use H lead pencil and the projection lines are faint so we have to use here the 2 H lead pencil so this is the construction line now what we can see on the left hand side of this front view that is at this side there is the block so this block is having height 25 millimeter then this length is also 25 millimeter so we have to draw here the block so 25 into 3 that is here the remaining distance is 75 millimeter and here also we have to take the distance 25 into 3 that is 75 millimeter and we will complete this block Then again on this right hand, the right hand side there is the small construction that we can see. So what is the height of that construction? So if we observe from this baseline the height is 15 millimeter. So we have to take 15 into 3 that is 45 millimeter here. So this is the point. So this is the height of that construction on this right hand side. So from this front view we can see here the only the construction line. So we will draw here the line of construction so this construction line is getting completed this front view is getting completed now we will move for the top view so before that we have to draw the projection lines from this front view to the top view so at the point of construction so here is the construction edge so from this line we have to draw the projection line in vertically downward direction in the same way we have to draw the horizontal line from front view to the side view so here there is the construction that is getting completed so from that construction line we have to draw the projection of lines now from the top what we can clearly see we can clearly see that 25 by 25 millimeter block in the same way we can clearly see what is the side block so that width is also known so first we will complete that block so how to complete so at this corner at the top view we will complete the block so that, that is what is the width so now while completing the top view we have to concentrate on the width and we have to put the width here and length on this line because this length is getting aligned with this front view so what is the width of the block so if we observe here the width of the block is 25 millimeter 
and what is the length so length is also 25 so we have to take here on the width distance 25 into 3 that is 75 millimeter so i will draw here the construction line and what is the length that is along this front too the length is also 25 millimeter so take here the distance 75 millimeter so now we have to complete this block so we will first complete this block Now this block is getting completed. Now on this side there is also the block but it is having the length. So on the width side if we observe this is the width side that vertical line and there is width is 5 mm less than this block. So from this corner we have to take the 5 mm distance. That means here we have to take 5 into 3 that is 15 millimeter distance so we will mark here one point for the 15 millimeter and we have to complete this small block so now i will complete this block so in this way the construction is getting completed now whatever be the other construction we can see in the form of line so we will just draw here the straight lines for this construction. So this construction is getting completed. Now we will move for the side view. So before that we have to draw the projections from this top view to the side view. So how to take the projections? So we have to take the lines from the point of construction so here is the construction that is for the small block so we will take here the projection so here is also the construction so we will take here the projection now we have to draw the vertical projections So this projection line should be faint. Now we will complete the side view. So when we observe this object from the side, so what we can clearly see? So we can clearly see that on this right hand side, there is the construction for the 15 millimeter height. So here is the construction for that block. So now no need to take the dimensions on this scale because here we have projected the front view as well as top view towards this side view. So if we observe for this small block height is 15 millimeter and the width is that is 25 minus 5 that is 20 millimeter. So if we observe here is the width. So this is the width. So we can take here this is the width and this is the height. So we can complete this block. So now we have to take the point of intersection. So where is the construction of small block? So in the front view here is the small block. So here is the projection. Now I will select the points. So these are the points that is selected from this small block. Now here is the projection. So here is the from top view. This is the construction of small block. So this is the line. So again I will select. So these are the points. So these are the point of intersection from this front view as well as top view. So if I join this all the points then here the construction will be getting completed. So this construction of the small block is getting completed. Now on this other side there is the construction for the height of 10 millimeter so here this is the 10 millimeter height construction that is already projected so on this side we have to complete this so this is the construction of the 10 millimeter so this construction area we have to show with the help of the dark marker then again there is the block or uh, block of 25 by 25 so we can see on the back sides of this small block so we have to show this so how we can show this so here what is the height of that block that is 25 so here is the 25 millimeter line so we have to show this So this block is getting completed. 
now we have to give the dimensions to this given orthographic projection so we have to give here the length then here is the width and here is the height that is 25 and 10 so here is the small gap in between this small block and this big block so here the gap is also shown so this is the orthographic projection for the given three dimensional object